Hannah Crosby, wine writer and founder of Dalston Wine Club, a London event series that uncovers the stories of the world's most exciting wines. I'm escaping the city with a couple of friends and Sussex Modern to explore the county's vineyards, meet its winemakers and try its wines. English wine, particularly Sussex sparkling, has seen a meteoric rise in the past few years. As it turns out, the chalky Sussex soils are just the place to grow three types of grape needed to make world-class fizz, as well as some seriously good still wines. Today we're at Rathfinney, one of the best known estates in Sussex. I've had their bottles and restaurants and wine bars across London, but now we're actually getting the chance to see how these luxury wines are made. While the girls go exploring, I catch up with winemaker Tony Milanowski to find out about the growing popularity of English sparkling wine. Rathfinney is kind of at the helm of this brilliant movement of the popularity of English sparkling wine. What do you think is behind this growing trend? It's a really great place to grow and make sparkling wine. Uh -huh. uh, we get lovely fresh acidity and vibrant fruit flavours. It really sort of speaks of the, the climate uh, and, the, and the, the location uh, in southern England in particular on mm -hmm. these uh, chalky downlands and it translates into a very sophisticated and enjoyable product. And speaking of sophistication, it's time for a well-deserved drink and a picnic overlooking Rathfinney's vineyard. So what are we drinking here? We are drinking Rathfinney's classic cuvee. Um, it's a blend of all of the classic English sparkling varieties. So we've got Chardonnay in there, we've got Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. We've got brilliant vivid notes of grapefruit, but a really amazing underlying complexity with amazing brioche notes as well. I always am a massive advocate for pairing English sparkling, sparkling wine in general, with food, and I think that this is going to be just the thing to savour on such an amazing sunny evening. So, yeah. Here's to a good weekend. After saying our goodbyes to the beautiful vineyards at Rathfinney, we had just one more stop to make Charleston House, the former home and studio of Vanessa Bell and Duncan Grant. This is a place where the norms were challenged and new ideas were formed, rethinking everything from art to sexuality. We immediately recognise it from Dior's latest runway show and spend time exploring every corner of the home and its stunning gardens. But now, it's time to relax in the sun and maybe enjoy one more glass of wine. 